if you're in the UK or you have got someone coming into the country or you are considering moving to the UK yourself as a carer or through the work route, then you need to hear this. Hi guys. A few weeks back, the UK government came up with some plans that they intend to use in reducing net migration into the country. And those plans involved care workers not being able to bring their dependents, increasing the minimum salary threshold for migrants and some other changes that they would want to implement from spring of 2024. Now, when these changes were made or announced, a lot of people were scared. They were panicking and they were worried because they don't know what that would imply due to the fact that they are already here in the country and what that means for them going forward. So I have come with good news today and I'm telling you, don't panic. Or stop panicking, stop being scared. We now have clarity. The UK government have updated us with some information that you will find very valuable so that you will make informed decisions going forward. And this was updated 21st of this month because they wanted to calm you down so that you can have good Christmas, good New Year celebration, and you will not be thinking too much. So in today's video, we will be going through the gov.uk website together discussing what this means for you going forward and i'm sure you will find value from this content so don't go anywhere and this is me encouraging you to smash on the subscribe button like it share it to friends and family people that you know would find benefits from this information and turn on your post notification bell as well thank you very much for doing that and if you're just seeing my face for the first time, let me introduce myself to you. My name is Mercy. I am a nurse. I am currently practicing in the UK. And on this channel, we talk about nursing, migration, updates in the UK, vlogs, lifestyle. And I hope this is something you will find interesting enough to stick around with me and <laughs> to share the content on this channel as well. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So guys, if you can see on my screen, this was published on the 21st of December 2023, which means it was just a few days ago and this information is still fresh. So on the 4th of December 2023, the Prime Minister and the Home Secretary came up with some plans of how they want to reduce net migration into the country of people that are coming into the country legally. And they came up with some measures to help reduce that number. Remember, they had said that they were stopping students from bringing their dependents from January of 2024. And then they've come up with these other measures that they would want to implement spring of 2024 to ensure that the people coming into the country, legally, the numbers are reduced. So if you had have a look at my previous videos where I talked about this, I will link that in the description box so you can have a look at that. It talked about care workers or carers not being able to bring their dependents from next year. It also talked about in increasing the minimum salary threshold of people on the shortage occupation list to 38,700 from what it used to be. But then it went on to say that people who are on the healthcare worker visa are exempt from this increased salary threshold. And then it also said that there is something called a shortage occupation list where they would have to bring about a change on that list and ensure that it is now at par with the increased salary that they are introducing from next year. And then people who are on family visa, so if you're in the country and you want to bring your family over, especially for the Brits, what they have said is they're also increasing the salary threshold to 38,700. But guess what? People were petitioning, people were angry that that was going to happen. And the UK government came back to say, okay, we're not going to do 38,700 for those on the family visa, but what they would do is increase it gradually and they would start the increase from 29,000 and increase it gradually until when it reaches 38,700 in the future. Then they went on to say that they would also ask the Migration Advisory Committee to review 
the graduate route. So people who school in the UK have the opportunity of staying back in the country two years after schooling while they look for jobs, settling and things like that. So what they have said is they are going to review that and they have given the Migration Advisory Committee, that's the MAC, the authority <laughs> to have a look into that so when they made all of these changes people were worried people were panicking they were saying what's going to happen to us already in the country how is this going to affect us so the uk government have come to give us clarity on this and this is me saying calm down don't panic too much so let's have a look together and see what they have done it then says that until the immigration rules are amended, the current thresholds and policies remain in place. Full details of transitional provisions will be set out next year when further policy details will be announced. However, in order to provide further clarity for those currently in the UK on routes that will be subject to change, we would like to confirm the following. Then it says for carers and senior carers, these changes will be introduced as soon as possible in the new year. This is where it says that. And then it says for care workers and senior carers, those on code 6145 and code 6146 already in the routes will be able to remain with their dependents including extending, changing employer and unsettlement. So if you're in the country as a carer or a senior carer, when you want to extend your visa, when you want to change employers, when it is time for you to apply for indefinite leave to remain and settle in the country, you would not be affected. So yourself and your dependent can still remain in the country. You do not have any issues to be scared of. So you do not have any problem with this. And then he went on to say that where a carer, a care worker, a senior care worker is in the route before the immigration rules change, but has not yet brought dependents, they will be allowed to bring their dependents during their sponsorship. So if you are in the country and you are a single Pringle, you have not gotten married yet, and then you decide to get married when this rule has taken effect. You can still bring your dependents okay so you don't have to start hurrying to get married to somebody now before the rule is implemented spring of next year no fear <laughs> don't be worried don't be scared they have come here to tell us that if you are already in this route you're already in the country and you are on this visa category then you can still bring your dependent under your visa since you are still in the country so that's good news then they went on to say that individuals who are in the UK on any other route, including where that route permits dependents who switch into the care visa as a care worker or senior care worker after these dates will not be able to stay with or bring over dependents. Now, this is the sad news in this one. So if you are in the country, say as a student or you are doing something else in the country and you've got another visa, but then you decide to change jobs and then you decide to apply as a carer when this rule has been implemented next year, you should have it in mind that if you have got your dependent here in the country, then they would not be able to stay. And if you do not have dependents in the country, but would want to bring them over, then you would not be able to bring them. So you should know this and make the right decision when you intend to change your visa category. Because the UK government have said, individuals who are in the UK on any other route, including where that route permits dependents, who switch into the care visa as a care worker or senior care worker after these dates, will not be able to stay with or bring over dependents. So know this and ensure that you do not do anything that will jeopardize your stay. It then went on to say that care providers who were sponsoring workers in exclusively non-regulated activities and therefore not required to be registered with the secrecy before the rules change should be able to continue to sponsor these workers including for extensions to their visa 
on those terms but not hire new ones so they have said that for the salary threshold these changes will be introduced via immigration rules with implementation in april okay then with the immigration salary list we will commission the mac in january to do this and then they have said the shortage occupation list will be renamed the immigration salary list and the mac will advise on which of the current shortage occupation list occupations should remain on the list in line with the new salary threshold so because they are increasing the salary to 38,700, they need to put jobs in that category in the immigration salary list now that would be at par with that new salary. So going forward, I don't know when that would be implemented, the shortage occupation list would be changed and then what we'll be seeing everywhere would be the immigration salary list. And then it says the current shortage occupation list will remain in place until the new salary thresholds are put in place in the late of spring and that's what they've said here we have talked about the family migration minimum income where they talked about those who already have a family visa within the five-year partner route or who apply before the minimum income threshold is raised will continue to have their applications assessed against the current income requirements and will not be required to meet the increased threshold. This will also be the case for children seeking to join or accompany parents. Now, if we go down the graduate route review, the MAC will review the visa route to ensure that it is operating in the best interest and priorities of the UK and ensuring the integrity and quality of the UK higher education system is maintained. We will commission the MAC in January and we will expect their work to continue until late 2024. Now we have seen this clarity that has been given. If you are in the country, calm down. Take a cold bottle of drink or juice or whatever it is that you find very nice that you usually take calm down just take a drink calm down don't be don't be too worried don't be too scared the rules are made every day in this country you could just wake up tomorrow and see that something has been made that is different from what you heard the day prior so don't be worried don't be scared they have come to give us clarity on this if you're in the uk and you're already on this route then you would not be affected you can still bring your dependents if you are single and you are in the uk you can still bring your dependents when you get married if you are under the family visa the salary threshold has been reduced the mark is looking to review the graduate route so have a plan in place just so that by the time you are finishing school you already have a plan b just in case they come up next year and they tell us this is what the outcome is going to be you already have a plan b something you can result into and i hope you have found value from today's content i hope you have shared this content to people that you know they need to be informed you see those friends and family that need things information i'm waiting for you to send it to them go on share it to them and i hope you have subscribed as well you have turned on your post notification bell and i want to say thank you so much to my returning subscribers you guys are amazing you give me the morale to keep on going and i'm very grateful for that thank you very much and until the next time you keep being amazing and have a wonderful day bye